Hello everyone, Kevin here in the Calvert Marie Museum Prep Lab. Last time we talked about feeding marks, trace fossils left on prehistoric animal bones from prehistoric predators. Today I've got a different kind of trace fossil, one that's a little bit stinky, fossilized poop. Okay, so on the table in front of me, I've got an array, we call these coprolites. So that's stemming from something that basically means fossilized dung. And we have a whole bunch here, plus something that can fool you. Okay, I'll get to this later. So from the smallest to the biggest, this is a fish coprolite. Okay, you can see we might see something like this in our fish tanks today. Um, we're gonna clean it out, it's gonna be soft, it's gonna be mucky and yucky. But if this is buried, there's a chance that all of the organic material in that pellet of fish poop will begin transforming. It will be replaced with other minerals like silicates or calcium carbonate. It will harden like rock and we get this weird pattern where it's wavy and they're spirals. It's a little different. We could see polished shell like that, but this is a little different. That's a coprolite from a fish. I've got another one here. This is gonna be something you might be more likely to find on our beach. This is a larger coprolite. Can you see that mottled appearance? So we've got all sorts of ridges and grooves. It's rock-like, it's hard, real hard, but it doesn't look like any rock I've ever seen. Sometimes we might see a little bit of a bone shard sticking out. That's a surefire sign that that's a coprolite, fossilized dung. Here's another one. Again, look at that odd shape. Can almost imagine you're going on a run through a field. You see something like this laying down. Oops, you hop right over that. You're not stepping in that. You can even see right here. So it shows up on the camera. Some of the areas where organic material kind of like made a pocket as the other stuff hardened around it. And then we've got our crocodile coprolite here. Nice, big, weighty. This was a big predator. He's sitting in the swamp eating birds coming to take a drink, mammals, fish. It's digesting it all, and then here's what we get millions of years later for our paleontologists to study. Now, as stinky and awful as this seems, it's amazing. We can analyze this, figure out what exactly was in the animal's diet. There might even be pollens from plants in here so we can learn about the plants in the ecosystem millions of years around. It can unlock a whole different story, all from fossil poop. I'll see you guys next time.